money toward this museum or uh, uh, and also say when uh, an application might be submitted to the uh, municipal City. government. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> The target for the museum is $9 million, out of which $3 million would be set up as an endowment fund. Because we know that there are so many young people who are now very enthusiastic to work with Alpha on this mission uh, under the leadership of Fora Chong. Uh, she has really done a lot of work on connecting the youth to the organization and to this mission. So we saw it an opportunity to build the museum. Although we have dreams of building the museum over 10 years ago, exactly 13 years ago, we started to dream of building the museum. But on the other hand, we did not know that there will be people who succeeded us in working in this mission. So we just delay uh, effort to realize the dream until about five years ago when we said that, yes, we saw a lot of young people now joining, a lot of enthusiastic people, young people who want to work uh, in our first mission, so we started to seriously plan for it. So after we bought this building <coughs> last year in February, in February of 2017, now we know that we would be able to raise money, otherwise we would not buy it, okay? But on the other hand, the <coughs> fundraising went a little bit smoother than what I initially anticipated. So out of the $9 million, we have already raised 5.2 million by now, uh, total raised and pledged. So, <clears throat> but the last few million dollars is always the most difficult. Okay, so that is why we are beginning the Y community Y uh, uh, fundraising event to raise people's awareness about the importance of the museum. Hopefully everybody would also contribute uh, to building of the museum. So this $5.2 million coming from four different places, from Toronto, Vancouver, California, and Hong Kong. The majority of them coming outside of Toronto, I have to say, these are major donations. Donation uh, uh, ranging from $50,000 to about $2 million each individual. So the next few years, the next two years, we concentrate to work very hard on raising the money. And by the way, Eric Sale was also, uh, is also one of our campaign co-chairs to make this happen. So we have a lot of support within the organization, but we haven't been able to do much promotion yet. Okay, besides uh, uh, the press conferences that you reported and also uh, uh, <clears throat> some events uh, every now and then we organize in the community. So the, uh, we are now working on the uh, planning and building. And again, we have a great group of volunteers who participated uh, doing a lot of either pro bono work or simply volunteering to uh, join Alpha to work on this issue. So as far as planning and building is concerned, this is really going very well. Ms. Chong also, also mentioned uh, um, introducing um, these subjects to classes in, in the uh, Toronto District School Board. Um, has there been any progress um, in, in doing that since Sean Chen raised these issues? Oh yes, it, uh, since then um, we've been working uh, very closely. We signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, TDSB, TCDSB. And uh, with other school boards, even though we uh, did not sign the Memorandum of Understanding, we have direct um, working relationships uh, with other school boards or individual schools and teachers. So it's a continuous program that we visit schools and uh, organize conferences and workshops at different schools. It's uh, continuous. Actually, uh, this coming Friday, uh, December the 7th, we're going to have a teacher conference here and uh, 34 teachers coming from five different school boards have registered uh, for this teacher conference. Um, it is very important, not it's only for- It's a PD for, day, professional It's a PD day, day right? that's right, yeah. And, um, and we have very, very close uh, working relationships with uh, 
uh, several several schools. Every year we we currently uh, organize conferences and workshops, and there are many um, uh, inquiries from other teachers. But sometimes uh, the teachers may not have the resources um, because some of our programs we charge. Uh, the school and some of the uh, programs we offer free, so um, so this is some barrier we need to uh, overcome because Alpha's operating um, budget is very low, actually. So that's why we have to try our best to raise certain uh, revenue through the charges. Um, but if the programs are all free of charge, then a lot of interest we receive lots of interest from teachers. Yeah. Mike, we are also working with universities. This is educational work with younger people in high schools. So we work with U of T, University of Michigan, University of Hong Kong, and the new university, uh, Educational University of Hong Kong. So we work with yeah. universities in, uh, in, uh, in uh, internship uh, training, mentorship, as well as research. So it is a very active uh, research hub. That's right. Any further questions? If not, thank you very much. And I want to thank Andy, who has been working together with Jason uh, to, uh, to uh, 